Okay, here's a quick uh, description of the Medusa DMX Hunt Control box mentioned in a previous video. Uh, this case is actually a two unit rack server, um, Dell variety, um, courtesy of my brother's company. They were getting rid of a bunch of them, so he was able to score for a few for me. Um, I replaced the front panel of the unit uh, with a standard two rack space keystone this happens to be 24 I would strongly suggest a 32 position that's available it just has a bunch of little square holes in it like this uh, I took the original front panel off and used it as a pattern for marking the holes for the way it connects to the case uh, I then also modified all of the uh, redundant power supplies the output boards here and cables I simply just cut them off and using my multimeter uh, tested all the voltages. Do not go by standard ATX, uh, either pinouts or colors. Please, uh, if you decide to do this, test with the meter for voltages. Um, especially with Dell, the colors do not match the standard ATX um, color scheme. There is a positive 12 volts, a positive 5 volts, and ground uh, available here. Uh, within this within this unit. Uh, what's kind of cool is if one of those two power supplies goes out, uh, the other will keep the entire thing running, which is very neat and cool. As far as the input signals go, the uh, DMX comes in through this XLR connector that's mounted in the front connector through the, the black category wire here along the side. Um, and then the blue wire that comes back out to the panel is just simply a uh, a loop through uh, to the connector which here has a terminator which is required for DMX protocol uh, probably more about that later this is the DMX Medusa board available at ohmmygadgets.com that's O-H-M my M-Y gadgets dot com uh, Brian Hook is the proprietor thereof he's exceedingly helpful should you decide to purchase one of these boards I strongly recommend that uh, that if you want one get it. This board has eight switched outputs over here. It has eight channels of LED dimming here and eight channels of servo control over here. The switched outputs uh, do not have enough current carrying capacity for what my needs are so this is an eight relay board purchased from eBay for about ten dollars. Um, so this is much more uh, uh, fanatical than it needs to be and, and it's obviously had a lot of space to work with so uh, that's why it is the way it is but basically all the voltages come out of the power supply over here um, as far as the relay board goes there's a uh, a 12 volt this is all 12 volt terminal here this blue going here to the uh, input side of these relays the yellow is the output side of the relays um, on the normally open you'll see that they're just soldered to RCA connectors. These are RCA pass-throughs. They cost um, under a dollar a piece, purchased in quantity from China when you have plenty of time to get them. Uh, so the bottom row is uh, a, a bunch of relay outputs that come from that board. The other, the top row uh, of RCA connectors actually is connected to the LED dimming. The LED dimming, again, does not have a lot of current capacity. Brian designed it so that it would be, um, you know, maybe a, 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 a single RGB, a couple of single RGB LEDs, uh, and a couple of uh, other LEDs for lighting, maybe a three-axis skull or something. Um, to increase the current carrying capacity for those, what I did is I purchased these little uh, inline RGB LED amplifiers off of eBay. They were about $2 a piece. Um, you can see here, this is what they look like in the little connectors, which were about a dollar a piece, uh, no big deal. So these things uh, now basically uh, have a uh, two amp input, two amp output. So each one of these channels on the front uh, is now rated at two amps of LED dimming for each one of those green uh, connectors there. Of course, that's a power switch and a indicator so that we know that the unit is on currently. The uh, orange cable here that we haven't talked about is actually servo. 
control. There are eight channels of servo control, and the orange cable comes up to the front here where four of those channels are terminated into an RJ45 connector, and uh, this RCA, color-coordinated RCA, um, orange, also has five volts um, going to it, which would be the voltage for the uh, for those servos, uh, my intent for this year was to have either an animated Raven or three-axis skull for a greeter, uh, neither of which have managed to get made. Uh, so those, I suppose, will be on for next year unless something really unusual happens. Um, this is a, this uh, product, this DMX, uh, Medusa DMX, is a great product, so uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, as far as uh, you know, the craziness of all the wiring, it could be much simpler. Uh, I wanted something that was extremely flexible, would allow me to make changes downstream, and I had access to these cases, and I have a few more hiding out in the garage. So the input side of my haunt control system, uh, which I'm awaiting hardware to arrive for, uh, will be in one of these as well. So thanks a lot, everybody. Hunters for Life. Stay scary.